So I don't know where all of these new subscribers are coming from, but man, thank you to every single person who's been subscribing to the channel. And you get a super thank you, a little pat on the head if you've already been subscribed to the channel. Because we're only 18 away, 18 if I could talk today, from 1,000 subscribers. My nipples are hard and our ball is hard. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Try to relax your anus, your shoulders. You know, normally I say, be sure to smash the ever living boo boo sting now that subscribe button, but you know, we've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately. Maybe I should just, you know, skip it a day. Just kidding. Smash the ever living boo 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 sting out of that subscribe button so we can get to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. We're only 18 away. So either I gotta make 18 fucking alternate accounts or you can get 18 new people to go and subscribe to the channel. And if you already subscribed, thank you. All jokes aside from the bottom of my heart for subscribing, it really helps make my day, especially because a part of me is still trying to recover from being off my cancer meds for two days earlier in the week, but we are feeling much better compared to when we first started. So, Kish Tari Fenyer, the card that power cut the fuck out of Cyber Dragon. Shout out to my subscribers, Aiden Truesdale, because I know you love your Cyber Dragon's pimp. Unfortunately, Kish Tari Fenyer said, ha ha, we're going to punt the hell of an ultra ball of Cyber Dragon out of the NFL Football League, ladies and gentlemen, because Kish Tari Fenyer is broken as fuck. It literally power creeps Cyber Dragon into next year. And that's so weird to think about, right? If you're looking at the screen, you're seeing Kishtari Fenrir at this point. I want to talk about why this card either needs to go to one or just be fucking banned. Because this card is like insane. It's even more busted than Stratos, I would argue. Although Stratos isn't really that busted anymore. Anyway, besides the point, let's talk about Kishtari Fenrir. Kashtira, Kishtira, Kashatri. I'm just going to call it Kashatri because that sounds like a funny name. I had to pull it up here on uh, Dueling Book or... Uh, I don't know what the fuck this is. Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia. So uh, it's a level 7 earth 2400 attack and defense. So right out of the gate, if you're not looking at the screen, uh, right out of the gate, this card's insane. It has 2400 attack and defense. It power creeps Cyber Dragon just on the fact alone that it has higher attack. It's a level 7, so you can make any rank 7 exceed if you drop out another level 7. If you have a level 1 tuner, you can make a level 8 synchro. Level 2 tuner can make a level 9. It's psychic as well. So literally any synchro that needs a non-tuner psychic type monster, you can make. Like I think that you can easily make psychic and punisher with this card. Um, but now let's get into the effect because this is where it gets bonkers. If you control no monsters, you could special summon this card from your hand. Let, let that sink in for a moment. Just let, let your sphincter get really just tight. That is not once per turn, ladies and gentlemen. So if I special summon this thing and you go like, I don't know, Torrential Tribute because you're playing the water deck. Okay, cool. I'm going to summon another one. So we haven't even used its effect yet. <laughs> and I've already outed one of your cards in theory. Uh, that's awesome. And keep in mind too, because that's not once per turn. I know that this is like table 203 level shit, but this is just something to keep in mind. This card is broken AF in like everything, like even Monarchs, hence the table 203 joke, because you can just go special summon, tribute for a Monarch, special summon, summon something else, uh, tribute for like Erebus. And with Anka Mufrite in Monarchs, this card's even more busted because you can go special summon the Fenrir, activate Anka Mufrite, pop it to draw a card, use uh, Anka Mufrite's effect to summon it. Tribute both for like, you know, Light and Darkness or some monster, Vanity's Ruler, Erebus, Aether. Like, just think of what you just plus with. And that's not even using the effect of Fenrir, the second effect, which is once per turn during your main phase, you can add a uh, Kashatri monster from your deck to your hand. It doesn't say except itself. So you go summon Fenrir, effect, search itself. So now if they break your board on the next turn, then you can just summon the Fenrir again, and then you can just search the third copy. And you're just still getting pluses out the ass. In the case of Monarchs that I just mentioned, then you can activate Anka Mufrite, pop, draw a card, summon, tribute both for a Monarch, and start making plays. So you don't lose any card advantage in that regard. I know Monarchs is a really random example, but it just the point I'm trying to make is that any deck can use Kashatri Fenrir, and it's busted AF because it's at three. It can search itself. You're not losing any card advantage. Uh, its last effect here is that um, when it declares an attack, or if your opponent activates a monster effect, that's going to be on a new chain after they activate a monster effect, you can target one face-up card your opponent controls, banish it, face down. 
How many cards in the game get back face down banished cards? <clears throat> Necroface. Who the fuck playing Necroface in 2022? If you're competitive, who the fuck playing Necroface 2022? I can guarantee him to you ain't nobody at YCS Minneapolis playing fucking Necroface. And if they are, they ain't doing fucking well with it. <laughs> so this card literally just says we won't banish a card face down and you ain't going to be able to get it back. You're just going to have to eat your own ass. Like, this card is insane. I mean, plus two, he's carrying a fucking tomahawk. So already he's like, I'm here to fuck your couch and take your bitch. Like, straight up. <laughs> and, like, we have not seen a card of this caliber in a long time. And I would argue that not only is this, like, a new Cyber Dragon to an extent, and even, like, honestly, kind of a power creep of Pankratops to an extent. The only thing that it doesn't have over Pankratops is the attack stat. Pankratops is 26. At the same time... It doesn't have a quick effect to like distribute itself and pop, but instead, if you activate a monster effect or if it attacks, it can just banish a face up card you control face down. That is just, that's bonkers. I mean, that's insane. Not only is it a new Cyber Dragon, arguably, I would argue that this is the new Gores. I just said the quiet thing out loud, I know. <laughs> like, honestly, I feel like that this is the new Gores. Because back in the day, for those of you who didn't play, Gores the Emissary of Darkness was such an insane card that to this day has left such a mark on Yu-Gi-Oh that people that are aware of its existence will attack with their lowest attack monster first just to be safe because you never know what the opponent may have up their ass. Now, is anyone playing Gores in 2022? Fuck no. Like, the card is just garbage. There's so much negates in the game that Gores, unfortunately, is just... It's been power crept. Like, it's at three and no one's playing it, like, it, it's it's not good, which is really weird to say, because Gores was good for years, you could argue that maybe you could play Gores today, but then you're doing shenanigans in the battle phase, and it's like, what are you doing, and it, it's it's just not good, whereas with something with Fenrir, whether it's an attack or defense, you're dealing with a 2400 body, and you know, if a deck is flipping a card face down, it's usually doing that because it can't get around its attack stat, but in this case with Fenrir, you can't get around its defensive stat either. So there's no reason to even flip it face down. You're just wasting your time. There's no reason to really try and negate the effect because it doesn't have anything per se that negates or does something on your turn other than if you activate a monster effect. So in theory, it locks you out of monster effects. But if you can play through the banishing, like if you can negate it with like a Sprite Red, or if you use like a Sprite Smasher, excuse me, to pop it, or like a Cyanet Cross Wipe or something, Droplets to negate it, Dark Ruler to negate it, etc., then you start getting into other things. Now, the reason why it needs to go to one is just simply because of the fact that it's literally a Stratus for the Kashatri archetype. It can search itself, which just means that you're not losing any advantage. You know, if it activates its effect to search itself, and you ghost over it, okay, cool, they have no more monsters, they're going to drop another Fenrir out of their hand. And with my dog shit luck in this game, they're going to have two Fenrirs in hand, like, easily every time. And, like, it, it has so many different applications outside of that that, like, I'm not even discussing. Whether it's Link plays, being uh, just summon out a monster for a Link extender, Synchro plays, Exceed plays, into, like, the Shangri-La, which I think is a rank 7, make a big eye to snatch, steal a monster, Dracosect, put out two tokens, shit it out of its machine butthole, and, like, just start going to town. This card is easily the best card out of, uh, whatchamacallit, Darkwing Boo Boo Stain, as I like to call because it, it's just a really dog shit set. Um, so, guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think it needs to go to one? Do you think it needs to be banned? Do you think it doesn't need to be touched at all? I think this card's absolutely insane. It has so many applications. There's a reason why it's over $50 at this point. It's it's disgusting. And you got to get your three copies like five minutes ago. Because it's going to be good for a very long time. Especially if it stays at three for a very long time. This is going to be like a card that when you're building your 40 card deck... You're going to make a 37 card deck and then throw in three Kashat Fenrir just because you fucking can, because it's that good. I'm not kidding on this. you got to get your Fenrirs five minutes ago, ladies and gentlemen. So, guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you again so much for all of the support. We're so close to 1,000 subscribers. And that Mystic Mind first place video from YCS Brazil has almost 14,000 views. I'm like, what the fuck? It's now the second most popular video on the channel. I guess we're the Mystic Mind king now. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.